Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in the last video, it showed Jason working on the front side of the skirting. So here I'm just showing you that it has been completed. And from there, we decided to go pick up our supplies to get the insulation started. We thought it would be a better idea to get that done now before it was completely enclosed to allow us room to work underneath before it was completely enclosed. So we picked up our insulation us. and we got that attached to the front skirting of the camper into the underbelly. And at the end of the video, you'll see we've got it completely finished all around the camper. And we even added what I think is a genius idea in between the slides because I've never seen it done before. Need 20 sheets of this insulation board. Uh, do I have to put that on a car or is that something you guys will use a forklift for? Uh, I don't know. Um, started the insulation underneath along the skirting so we left the back side open that way we could get in insulate so we, we were working on skirting and insulation underneath the camper and that's going pretty good we're not finished with it yet we, yeah it looks good still got to do this back part and this side over here hooked into the septic so that's good we got that done we are hooked into the septic the gray and the black tank is both hooked up we are working on getting water hooked up water in and electric so that'll take some time so we still have this side to do yet you can see this side needs done. They got this front piece up to this first slide. Alright guys, we just filled up the water tank. When I got down here, there were a bunch of berry bushes. That look like they're turning. We've been checking the berry bushes the last couple weekends and they weren't ready yet, but I think this is the weekend for it. So we'll have to go check them out here later. As we begin the march from summer into fall, it's hard not to notice these beautiful trees we have amongst the farm with their large, red, fuzzy, velvet-like berry clusters that rise from the tips of the tree. So pretty. I knew it was a sumac, but I wasn't sure of the type and I wanted to find out if it was poisonous. After some research, I found it is not poisonous, but can be used medicinally for health benefits such as being used for coughs and various pulmonary troubles. Native Americans use sumac to treat colds, sore throats, fever, infections, and scurvy. And it's also been used to treat asthma and cold sores, which I thought was good to know. But now as we come into fall, the leaves are gonna start turning a fiery red and the berry clusters will fall off later in the winter, in a few months, I believe. Then come spring, they'll bud again. So that was just some information I found and wanted to share about the staghorn sumac.
None of ye all there is that is so mad to seek grapes upon brambles or briar, briars, nor none I throw what? that hath his wit so bad. Did you like my poem? Are you speaking English? None of ye all there is that is so mad to seek grapes upon brambles or briars, nor none I throw that hath his wit so bad. That's the best poem I have ever heard. So bad. Interesting fact. While this species of Allegheny blackberry is commonly found in North America, it belongs to the larger genes of Rubus blackberries in the United States. Oh, uh, in the United Kingdom and Ireland. To the Republic. It is which considered it stands. unwise to eat blackberries after old Michael Mayo's day. In the middle of fall, the legend goes that one should not eat blackberries because the devil has befold them. Oh my. It's thought that. So I think you saw us go rescue Quentin because he ran out of gas. He went down the mow the orchard and the berry patches and Jason went to check on him. And when he went down, he was out of fuel. So he had to go get the tractor and take some fuel down. But there wasn't enough fuel in the can, so we ended up having to pull him back, I think is what happened. Because originally he told me that he got it stuck in the creek, so it's hard to tell. Just wanted to show you guys what we got done this weekend. So we recently, a couple weeks ago, we started the skirting on the camper and it's coming along well. So we got it all skirted. So let me show you what we've got done here with the skirting well so far. This looks so good back here with that box and that door. I love it. I really like that paint color too. What are you gonna do over here? Did you figure it out yet, this corner? I love that box. I hate to say it, but I'll probably just take insulation and stuff under there and not even worry about putting water or anything there. Box around the valves. Done. 
guys, this is so funny. Every time Jason's working, he leaves the back door open. There she is. Every time we're down here, she hops in the van to lay. Let's be more comfortable. Okay, that was all.